Well, thanks for your time, Deputy Shanahan. It's uh, two months since you spoke to our Awesome Awareness meeting in Waterford, and just wondering what's been happening um, politically in regards to disability issues that you've been working on since then, that, any updates you can give us? Yeah, sure, Sean, great to see you here today. Uh, look, um, as part of the regional group, we actually put in a motion, uh, more or less this time last year, around the need for government to legislate for access for disability and for special education. Uh, in that motion, we've given government a year. That will be coming up very shortly. We'll be looking for a review to see how that legislation is possibly uh, progressing. Uh, beyond that, my colleague, Deputy Sean Kenny, whom you met earlier, is on the Disability Committee here in Leinster House, and uh, he keeps us informed, and we look to bring things forward. So some of the things that we're talking about at the minute are the primary medical certificate, which allows people to get a rebate of their tax. In terms of disability, that scheme has been shelved at the moment, and we're trying to get it uh, up and operational again to ensure that people can get access uh, to motor vehicles and to get them tax-free for those that qualify under the previous uh, scheme. Beyond that, we're also looking for uh, people with specific disability for blindness for state exams and see can we get some accommodation. And uh, just earlier today, uh, we spent some time on our own pre-budget submission, which we'll be placing into government in the next week or two. And within that, we will be putting in a number of initiatives there. We need to agree them between the group, but there will be initiatives there around disability. So I think we are uh, doing quite a bit and I think there's quite a bit of awareness in Leinster House now in, in terms of disability issues, in terms of access, in terms of allowing people access to the workforce particularly uh, and trying to bring in policy that doesn't discriminate against people with disability in terms of access to travel, access to work and uh, I suppose access to uh, inclusive society which is what we all want. Exactly, although we, we still do face problems like as um, I mentioned to you earlier on, the uh, new carriages of Transport for Ireland um, which are going to do Ireland for the next 20, 30 years, are still wheelchair inaccessible. So people with wheelchairs will still have to phone up 24 hours ahead to give notice if they're taking an intercity train journey, which is ridiculous. And just to thank you for introducing me to Deputy Canny earlier so we could talk about the um, inequality that blind and other disabled students have doing junior leaving cert, how we've, um, especially our Vice Chairperson Sinead, has raised that at Warford and Cork level, but hopefully we can do so uh, work with him at a more national level as well. Yeah, I think, look, the, the, the best way to try and get this into policy is to get it onto a national agenda. The Disability Committee is exactly the right place to try and bring that, to, to look to bring in legislation and to propose it, and I think uh, that we can do that. And we in the regional group are very focused uh, in terms of regional equality. That's, I think, every one of, of uh, the eight independents who make up that technical group in, uh, are very aligned in terms of that and that's policy that we will be seeking to bring and we'll have a very strong uh, mandate being given to government in terms of our pre-budget submission around areas such as that. Great, thanks for your time as usual and I'm sure we'll talk to each other soon. Great, Thank thanks you. Again, Sean. Thank you.